the, he was out by three feet. That's a bang, Don't bang. waste time in a game on a simple play like that. Hi everyone, on opening day we had two great plate blocking plays we're going to go over. Oh, and that uncalled foul ball that turned into a pass ball instead, leading to Chicago scoring a go-ahead run in the ninth inning because the catcher was too busy arguing with the umpire while the ball was still live, even though it shouldn't have been. Let's get into it. Here's the throw from Soto. Here's the play. He's out. They got him. New York at Houston, bottom of the ninth inning, one run game. This is a huge play. We remember that the rule is that the catcher, unless they have the possession of the ball, cannot block the pathway of the runner as they are attempting to score. If they violate the rule, the umpire simply will call the runner safe. You recall in prior videos on this very issue, we said at home plate, that foul line is basically the delineation point to figure out if the catcher's blocking or not. The catcher's fielding slide is fair, the runner's sliding side is foul especially taking a throw from right field. If you're reacting to receiving a throw, then you can go over, but only when the throw comes in. In other words, the catcher's starting position really matters. If the catcher sets up legally and then moves in reaction to a throw, you're less likely to get a violation. If the catcher sets up illegally, you're likely to get a violation no matter where the throw is. I don't think they're going to get the blocking call. There you can see the lane provided by Trevino. We don't see precisely where the catcher sets up, but we do see that when he reacts to the throw, he is still on the fair territory side. This is not a violation. Reynolds bounces one, backhanded by Bell, comes home, Fortez applies the... Another high leverage situation in this one, out call is challenged. Let's take another look and listen to what Miami has to say about Gets it. Gets the ball, he had to go that way to catch the throw that was up and a little bit away. That's a bad Don't bang. waste time in a game on a simple play like that. So again, taking the beginning part of the rule, we look at the foul lines and we see that the catcher is straddling and... Well, is that a problem? They're worried they have flashbacks to the first ejection back in 2014 for this thing. Redmond right now rips his shirt off, throws his hat. I feel like doing the same thing. This is a situation that is also covered by rule. Read on. It shall not be considered a violation if the catcher blocks the pathway of the runner in a legitimate attempt to field the throw, which includes, amongst other things, a throw that originates from a pitcher or drawn in an infielder, Looking at the replay, the first baseman on the grass, I consider anything in front of the baseline between first and second, second and third to be drawn in. This should be an exemption to the blocking rule. So even though the catcher is blocking the runner here, he is doing so legally, and that is why no violation is called. Finally, in yet another high leverage situation. And the ball get away, and here comes the runner, he's going to be safe! Did he think it was fouled? Haim is talking to the home plate umpire like it. We've been doing videos on this issue for a long time. It's a pass ball. The catcher thinks was a foul ball, thinks that the batter's bat hit the ball before it got away. This is not a reviewable play. We, for years, have said this should be a reviewable play. It's as simple as that. It's not the easiest call to get. You're relying on perhaps sound that you didn't hear. And so there's no way to really unring that bell because the tools available, replay, are not available to you. Oh yes, oh, yes. that's a foul ball. Hey, oh, Look at the catcher. Yeah, the umpire missed the call, but if you're gonna argue during a live ball, that just gives the runners opportunity to advance and that's why that runner could advance all the way from second base to score a run. I would give the third base advance because the umpire got the call wrong. This play is not reviewable. You can scream and shout all you want, but at the end of the day, guess who just scored another run? But I would give the third to home plate advance also because the catcher, rather than playing his position, was arguing with the umpire while the umpire had a live ball. Now I just sit and wait for a comment to call me an umpire apologist. No, the umpire did it wrong but so did the catcher by not playing the position. The only person who did really anything right on this play was the runner from second base. Everyone else screwed up. Visit us online at glowsgullsboards.com. Like, subscribe. We have memberships now open on YouTube if you'd like to support the channel that way. There's also a buy me a coffee link in the description because, well, this takes a lot of time. We'll see you on the site.